Their walk to school starts early. Every morning, the route leads across the Neretva, the famous river which separates the Croat from the Bosnian Muslim side of Mostar. Benedict and Luca are pupils at the United World College. It's based in a reconstructed college alongside a Croat and Bosnian high school. This is a history lesson, German history. Benedict is a German. There are some international pupils here, but most of them are from Mostar in the region. The teacher is Bosnian as well. The school wants to contribute to Bosnian reconstruction and overcome old animosities. I think actually that uh, to, for example, German history and, 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 and uh, we can learn a lot about local history as well because uh, we can see how the, those very controversial topics uh, were successfully, let's say, uh, dealt with in, in, in Germany. Across the road is one of the many ruins in the city. Mostar is full of paradoxes. This was the front line between Croat and Bosnian Muslim forces. Luka is Benedict's best friend and a Croat. He has no experience of the war. Our family, our parents, have actually fought in it. They've seen combat firsthand, and they have passed down this knowledge of an enemy, of hatred of the other ones, onto us. The war is a constant theme. You know, here in, in Mostar, it is actually, it gets really actual, if, because you see the houses, the bomb houses, like the one we are in now, right now, and it, before, when I, at home or something, when I, we only learned about it, we heard about it, you got documentaries about it, but here you can actually see it and touch it. The two often travel to a refugee camp a few miles outside Mostar. Fifteen years after the war ended, there are still tens of thousands of people who live this way, without a job, home, and no future. Did you say something for us? Perfect, yes? I did. Social engagement is part of the school's curriculum. Benedict and Luca take part in activities with the children in the camp. I was never exposed to something like this before, where people were forced to live under such harsh conditions, and it was truly an eye-opener as to how much damage the war truly caused. What the two pupils do might not amount to much, but it's gratefully received by the people here. They're good lads. We're happy that someone is concerned. Back in Mostar, the city still bears the scars of the fighting. Traffic between the two halves of the city is rolling again, but it's a long way from life before the war. The conflict lurks close to the surface. There's a pretty tense way of life here, especially in Mostar, where there's a real sense of the conflict. You always have to take care of what you do or say. The famous bridge over the Neretva has been rebuilt by UNESCO at a cost of millions. But it's mainly used by the tourists. Many of the locals have not crossed into the other side of the city since the war. I have myself been one of those people that have never crossed over, that I was taught that it's dangerous to cross over, that I shouldn't do that, and that the other side is the enemy. I was, the very first few steps that I took over to the other side were ones of great fear and hopefully some courage as well. I was very reluctant to do so. And today? Today? I actually feel more at home on the Bosniak side than I do on the Croatian. These boys have spent a year together at the United World College and have become close friends. Their generation has a chance of overcoming the old hatreds. And that could be the best hope Bosnia has.